Episode 21 Henry's Cadillac Henry doesn't know anything, so it's surprising to see him drive a car. Ah, good. The light's gonna change green soon. Time for me to go. Ah! That stupid engine hit me! When Henry arrived at the steamworks, everyone was already waiting for him. You have got to be kidding me. Why did he show up here in a car? Duh! I don't know! It's Henry! My love! Edward is gay for Henry, but Henry doesn't know this. Henry, my love, come closer to me! Duh! What's a Henry? Stop doing that! But I don't know what you're talking about! Um, are they going to be all right? I think so. We don't really need them. However, I'm very glad that these four decided to show up. What? We're just background characters. We wanted to get here so we could have more screen time. Hey, having more screen time is my job. Shut up, Thomas. Yes, Percy. Edward then returned with Henry, and Duck continued to speak. Okay. As all of you are probably aware, I called you all here so we could discuss our plan to stop Mr. Bruce. Quite frankly, I don't think we need a plan. There's a lot of us. We can just go in there, storm his auto shop, then make him surrender. I think that Spencer is correct. I was going to discuss a plan, but now that you mention it, I think Spencer's right too. I mean, compared to what he has, I think we outnumber him as we speak. Okay, I wanted this episode to be longer, but if that's what you guys want to do, I'm all for it. The memory on the phone that's being used to film this episode is running low. We can't afford to make this episode long. Ah, another point taken. Alright then, so I guess that's it. We're just going to storm the auto shop and defeat Mr. Bruce. Yep. Precisely. Yeah, this plan is wunderbar. All right then, it's settled then. We'll just storm the auto shop. Everyone was very pleased with the plan because there was no thinking involved. The end. <laughs>